What's up YouTube, it's Adam from I'm a Music Mogul and today we're going to talk about how to configure your control service with Logic. Now FlyGuy206 pointed out if I can make a video and sure, I'm going to do it right now. Now the video could get a little extensive and a little crazy at times but uh, I'm sure you'll get it. You should be able to set up your controller fully within half an hour to an hour after watching this video and finally get your controller to control Logic the way it's supposed to be and the way you want it to be. Um, so what I'm going to do in this video, I'm going to set up all my faders, set up all these knobs to control different instruments, and set up other buttons so I can flip between different instruments within Logic, and also set up my transport controls. Now, it might sound a little too much right now, but it's pretty easy. Once you get it, it's easy, you'll understand it, and again, you'll be up fairly quickly to have your controller play nice with Logic. Let's get uh, let's get to and set up our transport controls first. All right, let's set up our transport controls. Now, what our transport controls is the play, stop, fast forward, rewind, record section on our control surface. It's very simple to set up and easy, just like it is to set up any shortcuts on your keyboard. Let's hit Option K on our Apple keyboard. Up here in the search uh, menu, hit type in play. And the first one that you get should be this one, which is play. Hit new, learn new assignment. Hit the play uh, button on your control surface. And now it has learned it and it's playing. So now that we got the play working, let's get our stop working. So here's stop right under it. Hit learn new assignment. Hit the stop button on your control surface. And now it learned to stop. So now let's play and stop. As you can see, we got that working. Uh, let's set up our record button. So here's record. Hit learn new assignment. Hit the record button on your control surface. And now we are recording. All right, just keep following those steps to do the fast forward, rewind, loop, and whatever controls uh, buttons you have there, you can keep adding it here. If you don't know where it is here, just type it in the search menu of what you're looking for and it should come up. And just click it, hit learn new assignment, and hit the button on your control surface, and you should be up and ready and ready to go with your transport controls fully out and ready to go within about a minute. Now let's move on to our faders. All right, so now let's get to our faders. Uh, this window right here is the controller assignments window. Let me just hit Apple K to bring it up again. Apple K to bring up your controller assignments window. This is where you'll be adding and editing all of your parameters within your keyboard and logic. Let's hit Apple K. So again, it's our controller assignments window. As you can see, I already have mine set up. Now it's not the full setup because I actually deleted it so I can refresh my memory on how to do this for the YouTube tutorial. And when I'm done this, I'm going to get back and uh, reprogram my keyboard, but that's okay. I'll do it and uh, do it for you guys. Um, so here in the zone is basically your keyboard that you are selected on. So let's create a new keyboard. And we'll call it, uh, this one is Innovation, so I'm going to call it Innovation. And now we got our keyboard selected in our mode. This is basically what mode your keyboard is in. So this is going to be, I'm going to call it fader mode because we're going to set up our faders. So let's go here to the plus button and hit, type in faders. All right, now you're ready to uh, start assigning these faders to faders within Logic. Let's do it. Go to learn mode. Move this window aside so we can see what, the, what we're doing. Hit X on your keyboard to bring up your mixer window. And let's start moving some faders. Now to control this fader, just click on the parameter you want to move, which is fader 1. And I'm going to adjust fader 1 on my keyboard. So that learned it. Fader 2. Fader 3. Fader 4. Fader 5. Fader 6, Fader 7, and Fader 8. So now I got all my faders. Ooh. 
fader 8. <laughs> be sure to, when you're finished setting it up, before you start moving the other faders to test it, take off the learn mode here in the bottom right corner. I always forget to do that. And now you can see that all your faders are working. All right, so we just set up our fadered mode, which is basically our faders in mixer mode on our control surface. But uh, usually when we're pretty much recording our music, we want to have single fader instruments that we can adjust right there and then as we're recording it into Logic. So how do we do that? Well, we'll create another mode. First, let's hit our I key on our Apple keyboard. Just bring up the inspector mode. Hit Apple K on our keyboard to <laughs> bring up our controller assignments. And let's create a new mode. I'll call it single fader mode. So that's our single fader. And go to learn mode. Select the single fader in the inspector window on the side of Logic. And move the first fader or whichever fader you want for it to be in single fader mode. So now every time I will select another instrument you can see that the fader, I can move it. Alright, so now let's set up some instruments in Logic and have our controller control it. Let's bring up an EXS24 instrument. Hit Apple K on our keyboard. Brings up the controller assignments window. In the mode section, go to new, because we're going to create a new mode for our keyboard to understand. Let's call it EXS24. And let's start uh, having controller learn some new things. Go in the learn mode and start turning stuff. So again, you click what you want, turn, and then you turn the actual physical knob on your controller. So click, turn, click, turn, click, turn. Obviously, you guys will be turning the actual uh, knobs that you actually want to match your workflow. Right now, I'm just turning random ones just for the sake of the tutorial. So I finished uh, control turning my knobs for EXS24. I'm going to turn off the learn mode. Let's see if it actually picked up all the information. Where did my EXS go? And I'm going to make sure it worked. And it looks like it did. Now let's create another one for another instrument. So in modes, go new. We'll create one for an ESM instrument. Bring up an ESM instrument on in Logic. Hit Learn Mode. Go to the instrument and start turning things. Click Turn. I'm sure by now you already get this. All right. I finished uh, controlling all the stuff. Click off Learn Mode. And now let's see if it actually worked what I did. Just to double check. Always double check. And it looks like it did. Now the key thing here is to, I didn't do it here, but the key thing here is to always have one knob uh, control the same thing. So let's say this is cut off, attack, decay, sustain, release. Always keep the same knob in any instrument to control the same parameter as workflow would be easier and it'd be easier for you to understand as you are recording. That's a little tip right there. All right, so now wouldn't it actually be nice if we can tell Logic when and when, when and where to use these parameters for what instrument. So that is where the buttons come in place. So when I have an ESM instrument brought up on the window, I'm going to click this. When I have an EXS24 instrument brought up, I'm going to click this and this will automatically turn to an EXS24 instrument. When I want to go in fader mode, I'll click this and Logic will know I am in fader mode. To change the modes between that, let's get to it and how to do it right now. Well, you'll see right now. Let's get to it. 